checked out from our Airbnb. We stayed with a very lovely host last night. Mama San. Mama San is super chill, <laughs> super nice, super with a, cute. With a mad haircut. With a insanely mad Japanese haircut. He Actually, looks like he looks straight out of a cartoon. Actually, he looks like my high school haircut, kind of. Oh my god! Like a mad undercut, basically, no? That's a mad he... undercut, but then he has like the K-pop sort of. <laughs> he, he is very very nice he's he was very, super very, cute yeah. super cute as well honestly he lives in that big house entirely alone yeah. and it's a very very nice house but we were freezing yeah. <laughs> the house was 40 years old which I don't know yeah for Japanese average I think it's normal with a tendency to maybe even older but yeah there's no isolation at all so if you don't heat actively two minutes when you turn the heater off later it will be completely gone and cold <laughs> which is pretty crazy if you're used to European housing <laughs> but yeah we knew that before huh? yeah, the blanket was super thick I mean I did woke up a couple times in the middle of the night but not because of cold maybe because I ate too much pancake. But overall, I really enjoyed the, the stay at Mame's place. Mame-san's place was pretty top notch, but I wouldn't stay there for, I think, more than a night. I always think staying with a host gets somewhat tiring after a day or two, especially for introverts like me, who prefer to have a space think, entirely to himself. But Mame-san was super friendly and nice. Mixed experience. Top notch. He even cooked us breakfast. Yeah. Very simple, but still, it's very nice. It was yeah, pretty I, nice for us, actually. We actually just had protein. Eggs, <laughs> like, for real. Yeah, yeah, eggs, corn. Super nice. Not too shabby. It's oh. a very. Hmm? I practice with you. This is again like a steel. No? I don't think so. Or oh, was there not a steel country? No, no, no. no. It is not Are you sure, Phil? No, it's not, it's, not, it's not. Oh, fuck. Cut it off. A bro went from extreme coldness to extremely hot in the span of just five minutes. Yeah. And now he's opening the window. <laughs> in Mima. Oh shit. Oh! The area is very, very quiet. Again, I'll leave the link to Mame-san's Airbnb in the description if you guys are interested. If you want to visit Mie like somewhere very far away from cities, this is a perfect retreat, I think. And if you prefer to stay with a host, where maybe he can guide you around, show you places, and tell you the recommendations in the area, I think it's a perfect option for you travelers. And he has funky shoes. Did you see his shoes, bro? Yeah, bro, what are those? In the <laughs> what are those? What are those? Wow. Yes, basically, I went diving two times in my life. And I'm wearing the same shoes when I go diving, like, Mama son wears at home. That's pretty mad. That's pretty mad. That's super Straight out of the science fiction movie or something. But I imagine it'll be very lonely living in such a big house. Yeah, but I mean, that's like the reoccurring theme for many older mm. people in Japan, right? Mm -hmm. But he doesn't... It seems always He's like, like he can handle it pretty well, right? Yeah. Like, I would die because of sadness, simply. Mm -hmm. really. mm -hmm. I'm also very bad at being alone. <laughs> to admit it, <laughs> but yeah, he seemed pretty fine. I don't know. Mamisan seems to be doing fine. Yeah. His house is very, very lovely. I didn't get a lot of B rolls because, well, we woke up late and my nose started going crazy. <laughs> uh, I was cleaning, like I was washing my face, and suddenly I was like, "Oh, why is the sink red?" <laughs> <laughs> Now we have another seven and a half to eight hour drive heading towards the general direction of Tokyo. Very, very excited for our stop tonight. Yes. Hey. It's my time to shine, guys. Okay, I'm gonna be out of frame. <laughs> but already yesterday I told Kyo the Iga like just the name Iga was kind of, I don't know, I had it in my mind, like something happened in Iga 
because I tried to get a little bit into Japanese history and now I asked him to Google quickly and yeah now we find found out and I can completely recall what was happening here. So in Iga was kind of the the area where the ninjas were born because it was like very foresty and mountainish and like 1581 we just checked it out um, there was like the great battle of Iga uh, because at the time Oda Nobunaga was like the yeah like the biggest warlord basically um, super important figure in Japanese history and yeah, for him, the, the ninjas or like the people from Iga were just a little bit annoying because they were kind of close to Kyoto, which was important at the time still. Um, so at some point he started to fight them, but everything turned out to be much harder than he expected. I think he sent his son or something first, then he got completely ripped <laughs> by the ninjas of Iga. And then he came with so many soldiers that yeah, in the end he won, but it was like super bloody and not worth at all for him basically. And yeah, so it's funny to drive around here and think maybe in this forest or behind this tree, 500 years ago, was, yeah, Some a ninja, ninja was chilling <laughs> with a tea with the star star throw thingy. Yeah, Shurikan. pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. In general, I can recommend Japanese history is really. It's kind of cool to get into it a little bit at least. Alright. Sweet! Let's keep driving. Is it recording? Yeah. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> it happened again. So my YouTuber skills are beyond crazy. It's just so good. So, quick update. We are... We just passed Hamamatsu. You see Kyo's driving is beyond cringe. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Drop a gear! <laughs> okay, no. Actually, it's, it's decent. <laughs> Drop a gear. Um, yeah, we have two more hours and 50 minutes to go. Oh, that's three hours. I guess um, we maybe still have to make one, one change. We make a change at McDonald's. And McDonald's! <laughs> Actually, like, should we go back first and then come out, or...? Bro, did you just really expose us that we actually go to McDonald's? Or oh, to oh, the road? Why not? We're just fat fucks, you know? Oh, you can't go to McDonald's in Japan. Actually, you can't, but... We are fat fucks and we know no. it! No! <laughs> <laughs> but, um... One time you can go because they have the... The Mac Samurai. They have the double. The double Mac Samurai. They have so. like the special menu after 5 p.m. Then everything is just double. Yeah. So Maybe double the price as well, but everything is double. Per know. visit, given you stay longer than two weeks, you can go one time to McDonald's <laughs> just to try. And also try their butterscotch pie. Oh, that's the last thing you should do. Um, I mean, actually, I know I never tried it, but you need to. You need. Did to. you ever try? Butterscotch candy, and then no, that's no, no, already no. Like, beyond disgusting. So, yeah, disgusting in a good way or disgusting? <laughs> <in a bad>? <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> no. So much you don't know how to flush the toilet up here for this shit. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's fucking what I ask. <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, what did I? I have, how is disgusting in a good way, bro? I've never seen disgusting in a good way. I don't know, because we, sometimes we say like... We say whack, and there's like... It's chocolate, you know what uh, I mean? But it can't be like a bad chocolate, you know what I mean? Disgusting in a good way, I only find on... On one category of... Of internet websites. <laughs> <laughs> no, we cut that out. Um, however... Yeah... That's update... Was... Pretty amazing, I guess. Yeah, actually, a really good update. I think actually, uh, I'm a much better YouTuber than Kios. <laughs> I'm retiring. I'm retiring. No, I don't even know how to cut the shit. So just press the red button. <laughs> Leave it up to him. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean, cutting the video. Not uh, cutting this video, I know. Uh, Pre crocking but I think I stole some more time that you have a harder time editing, right? Huh? Huh? What? What? Huh? What? You stole some more time. 
yeah, that you have a harder time editing. Yeah, of course. That's more annoying for you to see what you actually need. Or just delete the whole clip then. Whoa, Whoa. XD. Oh, then I better. into a new Airbnb again it's like we're checking into an Airbnb every single day Louis just had a shower and destroyed the bathroom as always every time we go into a new Airbnb Louis tends to destroy the bathroom which is absolutely not true <clears throat> which is absolutely disgusting <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we're back at a very very special town the town where everything began oh yeah basically yes Hakode. <laughs> well, it's been a long day for the past few days. We've been driving, driving, and driving. So my back is fucked. Holy shit, it's really my back is okay. You have a broke back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we have been driving for the past two days. Like purely driving days. We drove from Shikoku to Iga to now Hakone in two days. So we are both busted. We had dinner, checked into our new Airbnb, which is honestly pretty dope. Again, super, super cheap, which is always the best. We're staying here for the next three nights. So we're gonna unpack, get quite a lot of work done. I have two videos I wanted to film and two things that I needed to do when I'm back in Hakone. Okay, ciao.